What makes you comfortable? When you've had a long day, when you've received a surprising diagnosis, what calms you? Is it a cup of tea, comfort food? These things can be perfect for turning down your anxiety a couple of notches. But what about comfort that will last? When the temporary remedies wear off, what's next? What now? I want to live my life closer to Thee. We all experience times when we need to be comforted could be a sudden event that rocks our world, or could be the steady, increasing anxiety of uncertainty that is a weight we can no longer bear. Where can we go for comfort that will last? What does God have to say to us about comfort? In Apostle Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, he gives a strong blessing. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace comfort your hearts. Did you hear that? God has given you eternal comfort. When the hot tea is run out, when your friends and family aren't answering the phone, you can recall the promises God has made with you. You live in the here and now, but you also have comfort that will last through eternity. God's comfort reminds you that any pain that you've caused others is forgiven in Jesus Christ. Any physical or mental pain you're experiencing is temporary. You are destined for a place where sin and struggle will cease. Jesus has done this for you. He rejected any comfort that might have turned him away from going to the cross for you. His persistence, his grace, his dying and his rising, his love for you. May these comfort your heart. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for your comfort. Help me to turn to you when I feel anxiety creeping in. Remind me of the lasting comfort I have in your Son, my Savior, Jesus Christ. In his name I pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. Don't have one? Consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.